Hello everyone, um, my name is Chili Mango and welcome back to The Long Dark. We are about to head to the, over to the forge. I have done a little bit of gameplay before posting this episode, just because I was collecting food when I was travelling over to Fall on Muskeg and I didn't think it would be particularly interesting, but I did come across a couple of things. Like, we got a bunker, a wolf took down a deer for us, so we've got quite a lot of food now. So, without further ado, let's head over to Paul and Muskeg. Let's do this. Okay, we've got everything, we've slept. We've got the hammer, let's just double check. Yep, hammer, coal, yep. Let's do this. We are heavy. But it's fine, we've got a bedroll, we've got food, we've got a lot of food. The wolves will come a-calling because of how much we smell. Let's just drink so, you know, get as much weight off us as possible. So this is very, very exciting. See, the problem is we smell like steak now. So all of the wolves are gonna come knocking. And I mean, let's be honest, if you were in this frozen wilderness and you smelled steak, you would go after it. Yeah, so we're not too heavy. We're still um, a little bit away from him and we can run just to keep him at arm's length. So we're going to get into full on muskeg. Now I'm going to make my way around the left, going through some thin ice and some of the islands. Then we're going to get to the forge and we'll just start. We're um, well fed because I don't want to be worried about that. Want to keep our health up. I also need enough food to just be able to craft ongoing. Is it giving up? Oh no. From the music, then it sounded like it'd given up. But anyway. Yes, yeah, so I need enough food to be able to craft everything in one sitting. We'll be warm because we will have the furnace on or the forge. So that's absolutely fine. So we just need to make sure we have enough supplies to last us. I'm very, very near to the forge also. There is a bunker. In a little bit. There is a bunker nearby, so if we do get in trouble or we need to warm up or something goes wrong, we can go straight there. So it sounds like he's not following us. Has he given up? Do this. So, we need to be careful because wolves are going to come for us. So, it might be that we have to light a flare or something. We 
can walk across this. Die if I don't warm up soon. And then cut across the ice, but I think I'm just gonna keep left. Because I first of all I know exactly where I am. Even if it gets a bit foggy, which it is a little bit now. But also ice wise, I kinda know the route through here. So Fuller Musk has a great forge because it is outside so you're never going to get cabin fever or anything like that. Obviously you just need to make sure that you've got enough coal and everything to be able to keep it lit and obviously enough food. And I left a couple of cans back at the base. So that when we go back, if we have ate all the food or something or other, at least we've got some food there. So we can see a dog here. So we're going to do the whole circle, go around him thing. This is just about going round and also going away from them at the same time. Not too bad. See some saplings over there but we'll come and collect those on the way back I think. See, he's gone away now, even though we're very smelly. Anyway. Doing okay. There's the signal tower up there. We could have even have brought all of our spare parts to do that as well. But one thing at a time. Do you know what? Oh, I've only got that now. Um, let's light a torch. And we can walk with a torch. And then we definitely know that we're safe from wolves. Come on. Come on. Are you serious? We do need to tinder soon as well. Probably should have dropped my meat as well while I was doing that. Doing this just so wolves don't detect me. Come on. Are you serious? Right, so this is our last tender. I mean, I do have that. Should I just do that? I could just do that. If this now doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't check the percentage. I'm pretty sure it's 100 when you've got accelerant. It worked. Right, let's just double check. Okay, we do need to get a couple more. Don't walk on it. Right. So we're still cold, of course. We're still taking some damage. But at least we're okay against wolf attacks. If we do see any more cattails we will collect them because then we can get some tinder. Oh. 
That was close. Let's try and do this sensibly. There's a lot of cocktails here. A lot of food. Oh, this one. So, we're heading straight in front of us. Obviously, because of all the ice, we need to go around. We should be fine with how cold we are. I can actually see all the trees, that's where we're headed to in the distance. See some cattails? Let's grab them, get some tinder. So to get up to that tower there, you just do need to go straight and then right to the end and then it curves up. In my experience there's always a couple of wolves there. Or whenever I've actually gone, there's always been wolves there. Now the last time I was here, I got confused between... I think it was the beginning of this run actually. I had to start again. I did die. But I got it. A little bit confused between where the cave was for Bleak Inlet. I know that it's in around here. I do even think it's there. It's um because it's near the radio tower. It must be there. But I think I got a bit turned around when I started my last run. If you are interested in watching that, uh, just check out the link above. But yeah, it was a it was a good start. It was a good introduction to Interloper. Under no illusions that I'm going to die. spawned and I think I ran into that cave because there was a moose here yeah because I was very very close to where I wanted to go let's just scare this guy off oh no Yeah, that was definitely it. That was the cave. I thought that cave was to bleak and what. It was not. be careful because we are quite low health here so if this guy does come after us this could end our run if we don't have the flare ready I'm quite slow
Believe it or not, I'm actually running. There's a lot of wolves there. Might be a good shout to get this flare off if you're running. Is he still coming after us? Is I don't want to start this flare. We're quite far away from the forge. So the closer I can get to it, the better. Very, very close. know what I'm gonna light this down just cuz I can't see over this so if there is hypothermia risk should be fine because we will be keeping ourselves warm with the forge here's home well I mean that was very risky going. Come on. Right. Let's get the temperature up. Ooh, that was close. Well, that was very close.
walking funny. Might have to drop some gear. At least we're toasting here. making me feel tired. Gotta go. So I do need to sleep because obviously I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Three hours. Let's sleep. And then we can just continue. So we've got an hour. So let's just take a look at what we've got. Brilliant, brilliant. Arrowhead's eight. I would ideally want twelve. Another hour in us. Right. Look at that thing of beauty. So, and how many arrowheads do I have? Fourteen. why I feel so tired. Right, just put that on there for now. We're gonna drop some stuff, so we're gonna drop that. Drop that. And then we know that we've got some scrap metal. Got 
got some scrap metal. We've got a few bits and pieces to actually forge. I think I can use this. Not left behind. Ah, oh, look. It's a thing of beauty. Looks like I made it through another night. Right. Right, let's just count how much coal we've got. So, I'm going to take two there. So we've got seven. We've got about seven scrap. We've got a heavy hammer. That's good. Doing some water right now. Now, there is a safe here and you can actually get it through here. Instead of having to break down those crates. 44. be something good. <laughs> it's going to go all the way around now, I bet. Mm. Could end up being useful. Jeans and maple syrup. They're getting there, yeah. There's nothing else, is there? Chipped in there. Wild. But also leave some water here so if we do come back we know that there's two water there's two venison there's seven coal there's seven scrap let me put that in there so it disappears and we've actually got some more stuff to come back here to and to actually craft and there's more wooden stuff isn't there So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head up here because there is a bunker up here. It's a lot of deer. Yeah, make my way up here. Um, we do need to sleep. We need to get some health back. I don't think we can leave this region without more health. Thankfully, we do have bit of food. We have that got emergency food that we've just dropped off. Um, but we do have this place here which is safe. You know, I'm not going to die. Because I don't want to travel along here with this little health. Can even get some food off this deer. I don't mind harvesting that if we end up being here for a little bit longer. I 
that's another reason why I'd like to get to uh, well fed. Just will always be regenerating health then. Instead of during the day. You know, getting weaker and weaker. And here we are. Don't expect them much to be in here, for being honest. And I was right. And then gonna. Oh, I didn't bring any books, did I? So I just sleep and try and get as much health back as possible. I mean, it's not gonna be the most interesting gameplay, but it means that possibly we might be able to get out of here. Was that anything? I oh, just got more books. Might be able to get out of here tomorrow. Well, it was warm. So it's warm. I've got food. I've got a drink. I might just sleep 10 hours. <laughs> like I say, we have got the spare food near the forge if we can't leave. <laughs> like going and having a look outside when there's an aurora. It's pretty. Mm. No, I, I might just harvest that because it's not cold. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. If I was any more health, should I walk? Should I just walk back? It's an aurora. No! <gasps> no, 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 please don't, please don't, please don't. No! Oh. Gutted. No! Wow. Didn't even hear him. Wow. <laughs> oh, well, at least we forged. <laughs> um, yeah, wow. Oh, can you hear him? Well, yeah, I mean, we did well. Considering. 18 days. Yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Next one, I guess. Well, we learnt a lot from that. We learnt that it does get colder. Maybe I shouldn't be walking to get to flatline, like, red. And just be probably a bit more careful. But, yeah. So, well. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> Oh no. Right, well. We're back. Well, we're going to definitely go with Astrid this time. So. I'm definitely going to go with this one. And I might go with this one. And that will help. But I think stamina... That one, as, as soon as I start getting food and I can actually hunt, I'm not too bothered. Whereas I think this will help me. So... Well, 
interloper. Let's go. <laughs> so this will be a short episode now <laughs> on this new run. Well, we did well. 18. Bush River Valley. I think I am. I mean, it's always slightly disappointing, but it's okay to die. I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? It's the entire game. <laughs> Dying. And like I say, I've never ever survived. 18 get those. Never ever survived 18 days. Now I never really started here. So this is going to be a challenge. Can I get up here? Is it not going to let me? I mean, if this was where the signal is, yes it is. So, can't get through here, because you need a hatchet, which we don't have. Something However, I think you can do this. So this is the mysterious mistress, mysterious fire at Hush River Valley. And there's a hammer. I think actually, I think that's a guarantee. come in handy. Yes, it will. I think that's a guaranteed hammer. No, I know it is, yeah. Right, we've got frostbite risk. Well, it's not even warm. So the question is, can I get back? See, I only ever do this on Stalker, and the few times I've actually done that, I've found a hatchet. Ooh. 
That must have been on like the cusp. I've never gone down there before, so we did well. Well, that was eventful. So I need to get out of here. <laughs> The question is, can I remember how to get out of here? I'll just pick up those stones. Okay, let's go out that way. How do I get out of here? Oh, I have to go up here. Let me get up, please. as well because at the moment I don't have any food so Hush River Valley is one that I know least I don't know it particularly well. I think I need to be on that side. Can I get down here? In chili mango fashion just draw myself down. Let's try. Desperate times. So... Is it this way? I think this is the main river. Oh, I'm going to get a frostbite, aren't I? Timed it wrong. So that's the water cave. I 
because if I go in there, I don't think I'll be warm. After one of those bunnies. I know where I am. Oh, got frost back. Right. I know where I am. I kind of think it's too late though. Dead. We're not dead. We've got frostbite, but it's fine. That was a roller coaster. <laughs> so on this run, we found a hammer. We have frostbite. We're very close to getting another frostbite. And we're close to getting hypothermia. All around, I think, you know, good start. <laughs> I'm just kind of running at the moment. So up here to the right is how we get to Mountain Town. But I don't know how we're going to do this. Go through here if we've not got any matches. Here. Let's yeah, let's see if we can get in. Yes. There's so much frostbite risk. I'm very stressed right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very stressed. Are we going to be warm in here? Oh, thank goodness. Actually, it's because I've got that feet on, isn't it? Right, I'm just going to walk and hope for the best. be going down. I'm sure there's a lantern in here. Is it in here? Or it 
might be actually in the Shripper Valley. I could be going in circles. I don't know. to warm up. Can I do anything? What can I do? What can I do? Oops. Make some stuff. <laughs> and just try and warm up. Problem is, if I go out, I'm, I'm going to get cold. So let's just pass the time. Frostbite risk. That's going to be permanently on me now. So frostbite basically means if you can see my health at the bottom, I'm going to permanently have that red bar. I'm gonna run. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna permanently have that. Um, I won't be able to have full health essentially. My full health is less than on a normal run. Now oh, there is that over there, but I might actually. Why not look? And then we'll come back round, and then we'll just make our way up to the town. Well, at least we can forge. I mean, we do need a hacksaw. But and this is why we have that feat of. Oh! I think I can use this. I can, thank you. Um, this is why we have that feet with the extra temperature. Because it just really helps. Right. What are we doing? Right. Frog sprite risk. I'm going to sleep. And then I'm going to run to grandmother's house. Because we don't have any matches. So there is absolutely no point. I'll say that. There's absolutely no point in me waiting around. Because I'll just die. So we're going to run. Thankfully there is a little shortcut here and it's not that far. And it's not that cold, thankfully. Oh, nothing. I'm not having any of it. I'm literally flinging myself down. I do not have time. Thankfully, we are near a big town, so we should be able to find some things. Find some hats, gloves. And hopefully, some food. So, wow, that was a roller coaster, really. You kind of just have to know you're going to die in this game. I 
And like, you know, I said, I only have ever survived a couple of days. And I do feel like I can survive longer. I think I just probably made poor decisions, <laughs> which made me die. So I definitely think we've got it in us to get to the 50 and we will try again. So I think I'm going to end it there. We're going to get into here. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to recover from how mentally stressing that was. <laughs> um, and yep, a new run. So we're going to start again. So first thing is matches. Get some gloves, get some hats. We've already got a hammer. So basically, as long as we pick up metal lying around, we can forge pretty quickly. Um, and obviously a hatchet. But yes, I know. Wow. Another run. <laughs> so uh, anyway, a roller coaster. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.